Proudly we hail. From New York City, where the American stage begins, here is another program with a cast of outstanding players. Public service time has been made available by this station for your Army and your Air Force to bring you this story. The title of our story is Routine Patrol, and it salutes the courage and daring that has become the trademark of the United States Infantry. Our first act curtain will rise in just a moment, but first, young man, why not let a thought for tomorrow be your thought for today? Right now, your United States Army, the senior service, needs qualified technicians in such varied and interesting fields as radio, radar, meteorology, photography, and many, many others. Yes, you can be trained to do a job and acquire a skill that will be of great benefit to you for the rest of your life. You can also take pride in the fact that you answered your country's call in time of great need. Why not let a thought for tomorrow be your thought for today? Visit your nearest United States Army and United States Air Force recruiting station and enlist in the United States Army. And now your Army and your Air Force present the proudly we hail production, Routine Patrol. <music> to the infantry soldier crouching in a foxhole, life is a purely routine matter. You stay where you are, you move forward or you go back. There are patrols, artillery barrages, mortar fire, and what's worse perhaps than all of these, periods of intense, nerve-wracking silence. But after a while, each day becomes like every other day. This is a story of three soldiers who started out one night on a routine patrol. Just never stops raining. They say this is the rainiest season Korea's had in 87 years. There's something about a war that brings on the rain. I remember in Normandy. Hey, hey. Can you hear something? Sounds like trucks. Now what are they doing? A lot of trucks. They must be reinforcing or relieving one. Well, at least they're getting as wet as we are. Hand me the phone, Maitland. Yeah, yeah, Sergeant. Liverlips calling the Great White Father. Great White Father. Great White Father. Liverlips, a little action. Lots of trucks fooling around to our front. Hold it. Hey, Maitland, where would you say that was on a map? Say positions five, six, seven, and uh, maybe eight. Positions five through eight on a map. We'll have 81s on it in 30 seconds. Great White Father, explain to them jokers the range is at least 600. That's all we need is some 81 mortars coming in here with us. I'll hook up so you can direct the fire. Over. Over. And I wish this blamed night was over, too. So far, a routine action. The rain, that's routine. The report of activity, that's also routine. And back at the command post, the company commander's reaction is also purely routine. Question is, what are they doing? They building up or pulling out? One way to find out, Captain. We need a prisoner. Gray, your platoon's in reserve. Send out a patrol. This isn't too much. Three men could handle it. Yes, sir. Non-com would be just what the doctor ordered. I'll get your patrol out there in 30 minutes. Good. Sergeant, notify the outpost. A patrol will be moving out. And spread the word along the foxholes. Uh, they would pick a night like this. A 
800 yards away in the cellar of a ruined farmhouse, the first platoon is spending a luxurious evening out of the rain. Uh, you all think this is a rain? Man, when it comes down in Florida... I thought it never rained in Florida. It's supposed to be against some kind of law. Ralph Flat, how'd you all like to go out on a patrol tonight? I'd like it the same way I'd like a toothache. Patrol. Bite your tongue, rebel. Yeah, I got a feeling. Look, why don't you roll into your sack? Patrol. I wouldn't send a dog out on patrol on a night like this. Hey, man. Uh, uh, Lieutenant. Well, this is bad news, Ralph Flat. Yeah. He didn't get wet for nothing. Sergeant Gillespie? Yes, sir. Sergeant, the outpost reports unusual activity in the enemy lines. Vicinity of map positions five through eight. Captain wants a prisoner. Take two good men with him. Yes, sir. Try to get us a non com. We've alerted our lines to expect you to go out and come in. Start now, sir? As soon as you can. This rain should be great help. Good luck, Gillespie. Yes, sir. All right, you heard the man. Rothblatt. This I could have won bets on. Manson. Oh, now, Sarge, you don't want me. I distinctly heard the lieutenant say to take a good man. Now, get a couple extra clips for that Tommy gun. Rothblatt, trade somebody your M1 for a carbine. Patrol. You did it, you rebel. You went and hexed us. Now, leave all your extra stuff here. We'll smoke a cigarette and take off. <laughs> So far, it's still routine. A patrol is selected, the members indulge in the usual griping, weapons are checked, the routes planned, and the three-man patrol starts out, just as they've started out many times in the past. They reach their own front lines, wave at a rifle team in a foxhole, and carefully work their way forward toward the enemy lines. I keep close, can't see a thing in this rain. The less bit is supposed to be mines just up ahead. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Manson. Yeah? Just checking you didn't goof off on me. Why, well, Sergeant, how you do carry on. Man, there ain't nothing I'd rather be doing on a rainy night like this. Hit the dirt! That's all we needed. Yeah, hey, I hope that don't start the music all the way up and down the line. Hey, you think we've been spotted? Nah, nah, just somebody getting trigger happy. Now, come on, I'm moving to the right. How about them trees? We're going through there? Yeah, just what I had in mind. Look, unless they're stupid and they're not, they should expect the patrol to move in that way and litter the whole place with mines. Yeah, I know, I know. We don't have any other way in. Come on. Only hurts for a minute. Wait a minute. Listen. Yeah, those are trucks, all right. A lot of trucks. Yeah, the commies are up to something. Yeah. But what? That's the kind of curiosity that lands guys like us out here. Curiosity, man. That's what kills cats and people. You take me now. I'm an expert on curiosity. For no good reason at all, I had to study Chinese at NYU. The three-man patrol moves forward again. At any moment, they may be discovered. Perhaps the enemy will shoot first. Perhaps he'll challenge them and give them a chance to surrender. The odds are about equal, either way. But it's all part of the job, part of the routine. Soon, the underbrush thins out, and the three stop to take their bearings. Uh, sounds like action over there. Let's keep behind those bushes. Work our way in. Eddie, can you peek around there? Yeah. It's a truck. That guy's getting off it. Quiet there. Now we're just out, Lao Chen. Tell them they're safe in any place. Don't smoke. Quiet there, Lao Chen. What's he saying, Rothblatt? No smoking. The real trick in he is. This truck must be bringing them guys out to the line. Look. Can you see the marks on that joker's collar? It looks to me like he's a corporal. Good enough. Let's bag him. Yeah. Those guys are digging in. How do you want to take our boy? Yeah, that's no good. They're all too close together. Look, the first guy's coming back to the truck. He's getting in. Yeah. Gonna have a little trouble pulling out. You all know what I think? There's a lot of action here makes it good for us. Everybody's busy. Hey, as long as we got to move forward, why walk? Sure. Why walk? Listen, I think this guy's name was Chen. Let's see what happens. Chen! Chen! Start giving light! Some sir! Kaidar! Here it comes. Some sir! Now! Oh. That's it. Might find some use for this boy later. Can you carry him, Eddie? Yeah. Wait a minute. 
I'll wear his hat. That should be good enough in the dark. Yeah, Chen and Eddie and I'll ride in the back. Sit on Chen and keep low. I'll drive. All right. Come on. <coughs> Let's get a move on. All right, we're off, Sat. How's Chen doing? Uh, Chen should be asleep for a long time. Good. We're off. You know, I think we're nuts. I think Chen here is a PFC. In their armor, that's almost as good as a non com Well, if the worst comes to the worst, we can always bring him back. <laughs> hey, maybe we can bring back a lieutenant. Oh, no, no, no. That'd be, that'd be too much. No, I'll settle for a sergeant or even a corporal. What are you slowing down for? Somebody's standing in the road waving at me. Looks like an officer. Well, business is getting better all the time. I gotta stop. Fishuma? Hands up, buddy. Magret? Rothbard, he's going for that person. What happened? He was looking for some signs, and when I told him to put his hands up... Yeah, that shoot was bound to bring him buzzing around. I figure there's a patrol loose for sure. Yeah, they won't figure on us heading further in. I think we're trying to get back to our lines. Hey, what's that up ahead? Uh, it looks like a farm Well, bus. pull in off the road. Manton, you stay here with Chen. Rothbard, let's you and me take a quick peek through them windows. Uh-oh. Somebody must have heard them shots. Here comes half of the army. Let's pull Chen's hat down over my eyes. Are right, you guys hug the floor? Right. You're in Sasanga. Hey, they're leaving. How'd you bluff that one off? I told him I had some casualties in the truck. <laughs> well, Chen is a casualty, if you want to look at it that way. Wait a minute. Our guys are starting a barrage. Pull out of here, Rothblatt. Where can we go? We head back to the lines. We'll get blown up. We can't stay here either, Sarge. They must have this farmhouse zeroed in. We gotta get off it. You guys want to leave the truck? What's gonna happen to our boy? Get out of here. That's the first thing. Which way? Right ahead. Hey, Sarge, we're way on the other side of their lines. Manchuria's that way. I don't care. I don't want to get knocked off by one of our own 155. Well, if you don't care, I don't care either. All right, Jens. I'll let you know when we get to Shanghai. I got a hunch, guys, just a hunch that this is a lucky night. All I know is every minute we're going further away from home. Rothblatt. Yeah. What's that up ahead? Somebody's waving at you. There's a car over by the side of the road. Do I stop for this guy? Why, sure. It's an officer. We got plenty of room. Uh-oh. I see now. That car there has a flat tire. Hey, thinks we're stopping to give him a lift? Well, ain't we? Here he comes. Oh, brother, no. What? It's a captain. Come here. Right up. Right up. You. Americans. Hands up, Captain. Get that pistol, Manson. Got it. Let him stay up in the front seat with you, Rothblatt. Explain if he opens that yap that I'll blast him. I, I speak English. Good. Well, let's have a meeting of the minds here. One word out of you, and it's strike three. Let's go, Rothblatt. You. You go wrong way. Go find the eye. This America, crazy. He says we're crazy. I think he's right. Listen, what's the matter with him? I don't know. Uh, sounds like we're out of gas. Wait a minute. Let me figure out this dashboard. That dial over there, that must be the gas gauge. No, no, that's oil. Got plenty of oil. Here it is. Uh, we're dry, all right. Well, I didn't notice any extra can laying around anywhere either. Hey, grab him, Eddie. He's trying to make, make a break. Make a break. Do me. Hold it, hold it, hold it. That won't do any good. It's my fault. I took my eyes off him for just a second. Off the truck, quick. Where to? Head for them woods. Sarge, we can't try to get back now. They'll be looking for us all up and down the line. We can never sneak out. Well, we couldn't go back anyways. Remember, we still don't have a prisoner. You are listening to the proudly we hail production of Routine Patrol. We'll return to our story in just a moment. It shall not happen here. That is the unspoken prayer of every man in the United States Army. That is the unspoken reason for our growing military might. But the time has come to speak. The time has come to tell of that small phrase, those five words, it shall not happen here. Let us speak only to those young men of America who have not taken pause to think. Let's shout it in a voice that will reach into every city and village across the length and breadth of this great land. Young, Young man, man, you, you are, are needed. needed. You, you are needed, needed to help preserve the peace. peace. You, you are, are needed, needed to serve in your United States, States Army. Army. 
to ensure for your loved ones that it shall not happen here. You are urged to visit your local United States Army and United States Air Force recruiting station today and enlist in the United States Army. The need is urgent. Do it today. You are listening to Proudly We Hail, and now we present the second act of Routine Patrol. Three infantry soldiers started out on what should have been a routine patrol to capture a prisoner, preferably a non-commissioned officer, one rainy night in Korea. Getting into the enemy lines was easy. As a matter of fact, nothing seems to be stopping them as they steal further and further into enemy territory. Where do you figure we are now, Sarge? Well, it beats me. Must have come a good ten miles. Sarge, it's going to get light in a couple of hours and the honeymoon's going to be over. Yeah. Wait a minute. People up ahead. Take it very slow now. Oh, man, if it wasn't for this rain... I see somebody. Yeah. Two of them. Hey, guys. Guys. What's the matter? Look. The one on the right. That's our helmet, our field jacket. It can't be. It can't be. They're just standing there talking. Hey, maybe we don't know it and the war is over. Uh-oh. Now what? It's a car coming. Hey, fellas. Do you see what I see? It's a Chinese colonel getting out and a United States officer is with him. Man, oh, man. We're green. Hey, somebody kick me. Speak English, always. Oh, yes. Hello, Colonel. Better. Better. You men in the school, you must speak English always. If someone talks to you in our language, you will not answer. You must live English language. Get a load of this. Hey, why don't we bag that, Colonel? Yes, sir. That's our boy. What's going on? This must be a school where they train guys to impersonate Americans. Take a few of those jokers back of our lines and the fat could really be on a fire. Oh, boy, what a setup. He's alone in that car with just one man. All you men, you'll be especially alert. The general himself is in the area. <coughs> did, did, did he say a general? It must be. I know what you're thinking. <coughs> I know what I got to call. Watch it. That colonel, he's looking this way. That, he can't see us. Who are those three men? He can't, huh? He's got eyes like an eagle. Your men, stand where you are. Uh-oh. Don't get nervous. Nobody can make out our faces in this rain and the dark. I'm getting mysterious. Hey, Sarge, let's blast our way out of here. Mm. I want everybody to look at these three men. How perfect they are in every detail, posture, bearing, the way they hold their weapons. The man in the middle, notice his jaw. It is moving up and down. He has even adopted the barbaric habit of chewing gum. The three of you stay there. I want the general himself to inspect you. Joe, drive me over to the general's car. Hey, why didn't you give us the high sign? We could have brung home a car. Uh-uh. I got my sights set on a general. Ryan out loud, Gillespie. All they wanted was a non-com. All right. Let's bring in a general. Who knows? I might make a promotion. Man, I've been on patrols in my time, but never nothing like this. So this is where the commies train, huh? Somebody's coming. Uh oh. Say, look who's sitting next to the crowd. Hey, Eddie, let's dress this up. Sing one of those Rebel Mountain songs. What for? Oh, I see what he means. Yeah, yeah, do as he tells you. A Birmingham jailhouse, a Birmingham jail. I send all my letters to Birmingham jail. Uh-huh. Are you the three men Kuna Kaidong told me about? Mm -hmm. Not bad. That's the song. You are overdoing it. It does not sound authentic to me. I doubt that Americans would uh, sing that way. Stand at attention. Uh huh. No, something is wrong. I don't think you would fool the Americans. You still give me the impression that you are masquerading in Yankee suits. Let me uh, analyze this. 
Mm. I think I know. Yes, you are just a little too perfect. Whoa! Get out of the car and find Colonel Kerong for me. I want to explain this to him. Fellas, it's now or it has to be never. Silence! You will remain at attention and not talk amongst yourself while you are being inspected. Uh, General, will you all be kind enough to get into your car? I'll cut you in half with this Tommy gun. What kind of insolence? Do as he says, General. I do not appreciate this joke. You'll be caught muscled. Rothblatt. <laughs> get him into his car, quick. <laughs> That's it. He's heavy, ain't he? Yeah, get him in. I'll prop him up on the front seat next to you, Rothblatt. Uh, now just drive and go like the wind. Nobody's going to have the nerve to stop a general's car. You, you will never take my back alive. General, I got this gun in your back. You pop off just one time. Yeah, it sounds like our 155s are still going strong. Yeah, in a way, that's good. Most of these guys will be hugging the ground in their fox. What? The shell's kicking up about 100 yards ahead. Stop the car. We'll have to take a chance if we can get through the barrage. Couldn't go much farther this way anyhow. All right, now keep your Tommy gun nice and comfortable against the general's back, Eddie. The line's around here somewhere. Well, get off the road into the bushes. Lucky no one will hear us walking. You will never bring me back alive. Now, General, don't irritate me. There's those same woods we came in through. Hey, wait a minute. Something looks different. There were some bushes. Yeah, I think they cut them down and dug a foxhole to cover the approach. You're right. They set up a machine gun. Yeah, that means we'll be spotted. Unless we can sneak up behind them and lob in a grenade. <laughs> I had a slug him. I could see he was opening his mouth to yell. Good deal, Rothblatt. Okay, we'll have to crawl along the ground and drag him with us. Eddie, first off, now you creep up and handle the machine gunners. The artillery should cover the grenade. Right, you If it works out, give us one of your bird calls. Yeah. You'll be hearing from me. We'll work along the ground, Rothblatt. Now, you pull him by the hands, I'll pull him by the feet. That's it. <laughs> All clear. Let's go. Careful, careful through here. There's mines. Uh, uh, oh, our boy's becoming conscious. What is the meaning? Where, 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 where am I? Oh, cheer up, General. Half hour, you'll be drinking fresh, hot American coffee. Hey, fellas, I'm beat. Can't we just lay here and rest a minute? Okay, sit down. That's it. Uh, well, Ooh. here's our figure. We've got about 300 yards to our outpost. <laughs> hey, what's the funny? <laughs> Listen, Dimwitch, at your own machine gun. I heard you laughing. You won't take me. Now I know you won't take me. Listen to this guy. Combat fatigue. Fellas, I think we'll have to slug him again and drag him with us. The gentleman... First, uh, please accept my compliments. You are superb soldiers. You came into our lines and captured me, a uh, general. That is worthy of my own troops. None of this soft soap is going to get you anywhere. But I cannot be taken. My family would be disgraced. Oh, oh, things are tough all over. I will not reveal information. You realize that? Uh, what do you think all this is going to get you? May I have your pistol, Sergeant? Oh, sure, sure. Leave one round in the chamber. I would do the same for a general in your army. I bet you would. Come on, crawl by yourself or we'll drag you. I'm sorry. I cannot go with you. <laughs> it would have been better had you lent me your pistol. Hey, look. The rain has washed away most of the art here. Look, what next to him? Well, it's a mine. Come, try to stop me. I will take you with me. Eddie, grab him by the legs, quick! Get away from him, fellas. He's crazy. He's going to lay down on that mine. Stop him! Yeah, how? <laughs> You say he was a general. Yes, Captain. <laughs> and would you believe it? We lost him at the last minute. No, how can 
Can I believe that, Sergeant? How can I possibly believe such a fantastic story? Well, it's ridiculous. Uh, Captain, Sergeant Gillespie, Corporal Rothblatt, and Private Manson are my three best men. Yes, yes, I know. Look, Sergeant, if you'd only you told me you tried your best and you couldn't get a prisoner. Well, sir, uh, <clears throat> we did manage to uh, get our hands on a letter. Hmm? Yes, uh, here it is, sir. As you see, it's a... Uh, just to a major, the town of uh, Shenyin. Yeah, let me have it. I get some information. Hey, Rothblatt, sir. You claim you can read this language. What does it say? Well, go ahead. What's the matter? Can't you read it? Oh, yes, sir. So? It, uh... Says, uh, Yin Fu. Must be the major's name. Funny way to start a communication. You dog. What's that, Rothblatt? Oh, I'm just reading this, sir. You dog. I understand your orderly liberated a case of wine last week. Did you send me a couple of bottles? Since you... It's a little hard to make out here. Since you were promoted to major, you've become... I don't know what this next word means, sir. I think he means a real G.I., I guess. Uh, and he goes on and says, uh, Don't expect me to ask... Naya. Some gal, I guess. If she's got a friend, next time we get to visit Chun Yin. If you're a thirsty buddy, Chang. I'm sure this will solve all of G2's problems. Now listen here, I want a prisoner, do you understand? <clears throat> yes, sir. Get out there and grab the first red you see, understand? Yes, sir. This is just a routine patrol. Don't make a big thing out of it, understand? Yes, sir. That's all. All right, let's go. Won't be nothing to this. Just routine. Plan ahead to get ahead. There's sound advice for you young men of America. And here's how you can act on that advice. Your United States Army is offering a bright future in such interesting technical fields as radio, radar, electronics, mechanics, meteorology, photography, and many, many others. Perhaps you're not qualified in any of these urgently needed skills. Well, here's the answer to that. The United States Army, through its many fine technical schools, is prepared to train you in the field for which you show an aptitude. Now, there's a great opportunity your opportunity to plan ahead, to get ahead. For full details, visit your nearest United States Army and United States Air Force recruiting station now. This has been another program on Proudly We Hail, presented transcribed in cooperation with this station by the United States Army and the United States Air Force Recruiting Service. This is Kenneth Banghart speaking and inviting you to tune in this same station next week for another interesting story on Proudly We Hail.